I'm Diane Hudson Barr. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner and I work in the Oil City, Titusville and Sharon locations. And I'm gonna spend a little bit of time today talking to you about the importance of sleep. Sleep is something that we all need. It's important for the development of our immune system, of our growth and development and for our mental health. And if we don't get enough sleep, and this is important for kids, of course, too, it affects our cardiac health. We can have high blood pressure or we can have cardiac disease. We can have mental health issues and it could also exacerbate diabetes. In the short term, you can see irritability in kids, um, lack of concentration, difficulty being sleepy, not being able to pay attention in class, um, things like that. Don't be surprised that your child is having difficulty either falling asleep or staying asleep because about 15 to 25 percent of kids have difficulty with one of those issues. So what the strategies are to help them with getting to sleep are to have the same routine every day. So that's to pick a time that they're going to go to sleep and then have the same routine to help them prepare to go to sleep. And that usually means to either take a shower or a bath at nighttime, to brush their teeth, to put their pajamas on, and then either to read or to listen to some music, ideally 45 minutes to 60 minutes before bedtime, electronics should be discontinued. Because what happens is, is that excites the brain. And what we're trying to do when it's time for sleep is to have the brain get ready to go to sleep, to become unexcited. Um, other strategies are to not have caffeine or any stimulants before bed. What you might have instead would be some of those teas that are nighttime teas that are not stimulated. Another thing that might be helpful in the bed is to use some lavender, whether it's um, something that you diffuse using one of those machines that will do it overnight, or you can put lavender in your hand. You can get really good essential oil and just put it in the hand and just put it that way and then inhale it a couple of, with a couple of really good breaths. If that doesn't work in terms of strategies to help with sleep, then talk to your um, PCP or primary care provider because there are some strategies that they may have that could be helpful. It may be that your child has some anxiety or some depression that might be de need to be dealt with in terms of counseling. So maybe the counselor at school would be helpful or seeing uh, a mental health provider would be helpful. So there are strategies that you can employ to help your child sleep. So don't worry if your child isn't sleeping, but if they are not sleeping, Come talk to us about some strategies that would help with that. We're here for you to help.